Hi, I'm Steve Jones, and I'm going to tell you something about converting decimals, or metric system, to feet, inches, and fractions of inches. First of all, the metric system now is used more or less in science throughout the world, and it's based on, on units of a 1,000, so the main units are kilometers, meters, millimeters, and micrometers, but centimeters are often used because they're a handy size. At the same time, in... America and in Britain, the units used were miles, yards, feet, inches, and eventually thous, which are used in industry. But here the ratios are 1,000, 12, 3, and 1,760. Not easy. So how do we use the two together? Well, obviously, we can see that one meter is actually 3.2808 feet. In fact, a metre is approximately three feet, approximately a yard, and it is quite a useful length of measure. But if we want to convert the metre into feet and inches, then once we've got the actual conversion into feet, this 3.2808, we know it's three feet and 0 0.2808 feet. Now, 0 0.2808 feet is 12, the number of inches in a foot, multiplied by 0 0.2808 inches, which gives you 3.3696 inches. So it's fairly straightforward. So one meter is actually three feet, and you'll notice we do a single stroke for feet, 3.4 inches. So obviously we don't have an exact uh, measurement for this. Now, this is not the only conversion we might do. Very often, we are looking at kilometers and putting kilometers into miles. Well, the mile is, of course, further than a kilometer. In fact, uh, about five, one kilometer is approximately uh, five-eighths of a mile. But we know that 1,500 kilometers is approximately equal to a mile. It isn't exact by any means, but it's the nearest approximation. So this is a useful thing to remember. What we have to remember in converting decimals to feet and inches is, in the main, we can use certain uh, approximations. A meter is three feet, or 1,500 Meters, not kilometers, 1,500 meters is a mile. We can use 2.5 centimeters. 2.5 centimeters is approximately equal to 1 inch. So if we want to use this procedure, we can get a more accurate result for the conversion from meters into feet and inches.